Hello to Eric Today viewers. On behalf of the Market 360 Advisors here at Stuart Peterson, I'm Bob Devonport and this is your Dairy Week in Review for December 12th, 2014. So to get started here, let's take a look at how our CME dairy components settled at the conclusion of this week's trade. It wasn't overall a bad week for cheese here. We actually did see a little bit of a rebound. Blocks finished the week at 160 even, up two cents, where barrels settled at 151 even, down four cents on the week. Uh, wasn't such a good week for cash butter here with grade eight settling at $1.89 even, selling off nine and a half cents on the week. January way finished at 48 and three quarters roughly, down roughly three three and three quarters cents on the week. January non-fat dry milk settled at 122 even, down just a half a cent on the week. Shifting over to Class 3 futures here was another ugly week for Class 3 overall. There was a lot of selling taking place yet again. The January 2015 contract finished the week at 15.80, down 35 cents from last week. February settled the week at just 15.51, down 27 cents from last week. And the 2015 average price took a 32 cent hit over the course of the week here. And that 2015 average price for Class 3 futures is now just at 16.18. So let's take a look at what we exactly saw take place in the cash cheese market here this year. Um, so when we look at over the course of the past several weeks here, you can see that things just have come down extremely fast, really from the record high price that we were at not too long ago at about $2.45 a pound. You can see that we roughly went straight down here. And we did find a little bit of a bottom here this week, finally, um, settling the week at a, just $1.55 a half on the block barrel average for the week. But that is off the low for the week, and we did finally see some buying interest pop up here and we saw quite a bit of volume move in Thursday's trading session. For the past several weeks there really hasn't been much volume trading at all in cash cheese and the buyers for the most part have been holding to the sidelines so it was just a matter of time I think before the buyers really needed to be stepping back in, taking advantage of the lower prices and be buying up some cheese again. So during Thursday's session actually we saw 27 barrels trade hands and that is a lot of volume to see just during one individual session. In fact that is the second highest volume we've seen in a single trading session for barrels over the course of the past decade. So that was a good sign to see the buyers coming back in and buying up that many carloads of cheese on Thursday. Now, unfortunately, we didn't see any follow through buying interest on Friday, but on the bright side, we didn't see any offering on Friday either. There was no bids or offers. The block barrel average went unchanged on Friday to finish up the week, as I mentioned earlier, at $1.55 a half a pound. So that is down one cent on the week here, but it is off of the week's lows. So hopefully next week we can see a little bit more follow through buying interest. Hopefully the buyers return and start bidding up the price of blocks and barrels here again. And if we can see that, I'm hoping that that should be enough to give us a little bit of a rebound in class three. However, if cheese resumes that downward turning pattern, it could continue to offer some resistance to prices as well. So we'll have to see how next week starts up here. And again, hopefully we can see some more buying interest in cash here and uh, that should support a little bit of a bounce hopefully. Now as far as uh, weekly cash butter goes, here we have a weekly chart of the spot butter price and much like cheese and, and we've gone through this before here, you can see just how quickly butter went from record high prices and dropped about a dollar here down to about the two dollar level is where we've been holding around at but we did see some more downside here this week. It wasn't such a good week for cash butter here. Um, overall we did settle at $1.89 a pound and that's down nine and a half cents from last week. You can see that um, we did bottom out here a few weeks ago on butter and we did get a sizable rebound there back up above the $2 level but we just couldn't hold on to that. The sellers really want to be selling that cheap, that uh, butter excuse me, at around $2 a pound here but the buyers really weren't buying much so we ended up seeing it pushed down 9.5 cents this week but we are still holding above the low from a few weeks ago yet though so um, we could see a little bit more interest if there's more demand coming due to the holiday season here. It could maybe help to support prices but I would say we're probably headed back down towards this recent low here. 
Now let's take a look at what we've been seeing in class three futures. I'm sure everybody knows that it's just been pretty ugly for class three here and it's been uh, down very quick and, and it's gone quite a ways. Really it all seemed to start as far as the acceleration goes on uh, the Monday uh, after the Thanksgiving holiday break. We finished up the month of November on a very weak note overall and then the market was closed on Thursday for Thanksgiving. The dairy market was closed on Friday the day after Thanksgiving and then obviously closed on Saturday and Sunday. So given that we finished up the month of November on such a weak note there and then the market was closed for four days, once things reopened on Sunday night and into Monday morning as far as class three futures go, there was just a lot of sell orders out there just waiting to be entered. Um, a lot of guys out there waiting to get that milk sold. So we might have seen a couple of days worth of milk being sold really all in that one day very quickly and it seemed like things really just started to snowball on that Monday following Thanksgiving and what it, that led to was really a limit down day in some months, a 70 cent down day in others and we really weren't able to recover from that. Now since that limit down day on that Monday following Thanksgiving, we did kind of trade within a sideways pattern getting a little bit of upside volatility there but we just couldn't hold and we couldn't gain any momentum to the upside. The selling pressure was just too great and we continued to post losses here again this week. So with where we're at here when we look at a weekly second month milk chart which is currently the January contract you can see just how sharply things have come down not much different than what we what we looked at um, both the spot cheese and the spot butter charts. But the one thing of significance to see here is that we have now broken below our 2013 lows of around 1650. So believe it or not, if you think back to 2013, um, we actually did get down to about that 1650 range at the lows during the 2013 calendar year. And we did break below that 1655 level, which is the 2013 low here recently. And we haven't been able to really recover from that. So since we've gone below those 2013 lows here, if we're not going to get any type of rebound here, really the risk on the chart, we're not running into much support until we get closer to the 2012 low around the $14 100 weight level. Now, I think a lot of this price action though going forward is really going to depend on what we see play out in the cash cheese market in the short run here. As I mentioned earlier, we did get a lot of buying interest in Thursday's session, but we haven't seen any real follow through from that. So following Thursday's session, class three futures spiked higher right away. We were up 20 to 30 30 cents, but it only lasted, you know, five, 10 minutes or so realistically before the sell orders came flooding back into the market and pushed prices back down. So I think the market didn't quite buy that cheese has seen a rebound yet and they were selling into that. So we're definitely going to have to see some more upside in the cash cheese market, I think, before we really see any type of sustained rebound in the class three market. So I think the price direction here going forward is going to depend a lot on what we see play out in cash cheese over the course of the next couple of weeks here. If we can continue to get a rebound in cash, I think it should be good for hopefully a rebound in class three as well. If cash cheese continues to slide, I would say class three prices continue to get pulled down along with it, which means there could be quite a bit more downside possible if cash cheese can't recover. So we'll just have to see how things play out here over the course of the next couple of weeks. I think if we are going to get that bounce in cash cheese, you know, I would hope that it would come over the course of that one to two week time period going forward here. Now looking at the week ahead here, um, we will have our next milk production report out on Friday of next week. That is December 19th. And also just a reminder that Friday, December 19th is also going to be the new deadline to sign up for the new margin protection program if you have not already done so. This is the second extension that the USDA has made to the MPP growth program. So you do have through Friday, December 19th still to get signed up for that margin protection program if you are still interested. So that is going to do it for us here today, though. On behalf of the Market360 Advisors here at Stuart Peterson, thank you for watching and have a great weekend.